Hey everybody, Jason Wright with ThreatWise TV, and we're continuing our research into our Threats of the Month report, where we've talked about some of the most important threats that you need to be aware of over 2019. And so to talk about that, I've brought in Ben Nahorny. How you doing, man? Doing well, thanks for having me. So we're gonna talk about two of the six threats that we've covered in this report. Right. What are we talking about today specifically? Well, we've got two particular attacks that we've seen recently that um, we wanted to highlight. Both okay. of them actually are email related though, so we're okay. gonna talk about them together. Uh, the first of which is about Office 365 attacks. Okay. A lot of people are probably hearing about these days. It's happening quite frequently. Um, what you see in this scenario is attackers are sending out emails that look like they come from Microsoft. So, okay, so a phishing email. They, yes, exactly. They're phishing emails. Um, what they're trying to say is that there's something wrong with your Office 365 account and that you need to go log in and they conveniently give you a, a link inside these emails. How convenient for them. Yes, of course, they're not <laughs> going to the sites they're supposed to be going to. Right. Um, they're going to malicious sites and what they're trying to do is steal your login credentials. Get you to enter your login credentials and then they capture that and then they have control over your email. Exactly. They're able to log in and they can do all sorts of things. They can send out further spam if they want, other phishing campaigns. Um, and quite often they try to steal data by doing something along the lines of taking a conversation or a thread that you have going in your email box mm. and putting a reply onto that off to somebody else. They think then that you are the person doing the communication, but it's actually the attacker and they can steal data that way. Right. Now I've heard about, I mean, a lot of these phishing attacks are pretty, some are pretty easy to spot. They're getting better and better at, uh, at, at you know, being uh, very grammatically correct and, and right. being well represented. This is one that is, is using some of the better uh, terminology and grammar to make sure that it looks very authentic and coming from Microsoft, right? Exactly. They want to try to get in there. They're not trying to go to kind of a, a lower level thing like you might see with advanced fee fraud where they're trying to go after people that may not know better right. um, and you know, telling these outlandish stories uh, about, about you know, millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. You if you just country. forward 10,000, I can give you a million. Kind of exactly. Thing. So it's a little different than that. They're actually going after corporate individuals. Uh, they're trying to get in on a corporate level and uh, gather data or do all sorts of malicious activity. So okay, so that one's been pretty prevalent in, over the last year. It has, we've okay. seen quite a bit of it. So you mentioned that we had two, what's the other one that's related to email? Right, the other email thing that we're seeing is called digital extortion. Okay. Uh, digital extortion is uh, one of these. Sounds scary, for, it, first of all. <laughs> it does, and, and it, it is one of those things, but the good news is it's nothing to really worry about okay. if you actually understand the, the nuts and the bolts of it. Tell me the nuts and the bolts. So what, what's happening quite often is these attackers are sending phishing emails out to you um, claiming that they've put a Trojan on your system. Okay. So th that's the beginning of the email, it would start off that way. Um, then they say, having done that, they have spotted you going to a adult-themed uh, websites, okay. uh, watching videos on these sites, and then they've recorded you watching those videos. These are all their claims that they're making. Interesting. Sounds so, like a, a, a Black Mirror or Dark Mirror episode that, that I've seen. Yeah, it's very similar to one of those episodes. Interesting, yes. okay. So ultimately, though, what they're doing uh, is, is trying to get you to pay them uh, a fee in bitcoins. So they're going to say, look, I've got this, these videos, you know, it would be a shame if they, I sent them to your mother um, or I sent them to, you know, family members, your friends, boss. yeah, girlfriend, et cetera, whatever it is. Uh, the point being is that they're threatening to, to release this and embarrass you, essentially. Okay. However, if you're willing to pay them some bitcoins, they'll make it all go away for you. So we talked about what the phishing email was doing in 0365 to be realistic and to get your attention. Right. What are these doing in terms of strategy that makes them look realistic? realistic and, and get your attention? Well, one of the things they're doing is they're actually using materials that are, are found in various data breaches out there where, say, your email address and maybe your username and password um, has been you know, gone out in one of these breaches. So if you were a victim of another breach and maybe your user credentials, your username or email address and, and a, a common password, if you're using similar oriented passwords, if you recognize that password, right. yeah, that might get my attention. Yeah, the, the deal is, is they will put that in the subject line perhaps saying, yeah. hey, your, your password is this or maybe at the beginning of the email, something along those, trying to catch your attention and say, look, this is something that you know, we actually know um, something about you. And then the rest of it there, they're kind of leading on from that. So but they think but the whole thing is a big bluff. Exactly, that's the yeah. thing. It is extortion, what they're trying to do. Sure. Um, but they're not actually, they don't have any of these videos. They, they haven't recorded you doing anything. 
um, it's entirely a bluff. This is the lowest common denominator, or the lowest level of laziness of hacking I've ever heard, where they're not even actually hacking you, they're just no. asking for money. And they don't really need to because they can just send phishing emails, and this seems to be quite uh, successful for it's them. another Based, type of phishing. Exactly. Uh, well, it's, it's using phishing to, to uh, accomplish its goals. Right, least. and it's apparently been quite successful because these, these campaigns have gone on for quite a while now. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about defending ourselves and defending our networks and our customers. What do we have to, to be able to roll out to protect against both of these problems? Obviously, email security is gonna be high priority here, I would think. Exactly, in both cases, uh, email security can really uh, do a number to these, these sort of attacks. They can recognize them, um, and just get it to the point where you're not going to see them showing up in your inbox. Recognize it as a phishing attempt and, and exactly. stop it from, from coming stop out the, in the first place. Right. It'll stop the Microsoft fake uh, login attempts, emails, and it'll also stop the digital extortion. Excellent. And then um, are, are there other layers of the security stack like NGFW or web application firewall or, or web security gateways that, that could uh, help out here as well or endpoint yeah. security? Exactly. Cisco Umbrella is a great one for this. Um, okay. It can actually go and, and say, for instance, with the Office 365 attacks, it will actually be able to uh, block the, uh, the domain where this fake login page uh, resides and prevent you from actually uh, getting there and um, notify you essentially that this is not an official Microsoft site. Keep you from shooting yourself in the foot. Exactly. Yes. Well, you got to love everything about that. All right. Thanks so much for your hard work and your research and, and for coming by on the show. I appreciate yeah, it. Thanks for having me. So like I said, if you want to learn more, first of all, you can read the report, Threats of the Year 2019, available at cisco.com slash go slash security reports. And also check out the other ThreatWise TV episodes that we've done to capture the rest of the table of contents of that report and talk about some of the other reports with my friend Ben. So for now, I've been Jason Wright with ThreatWise TV. Thanks for tuning in. All right, nice work.